So, you know, the funding support that we've received from Fast Forward and EMD Serono uh, really tipped the balance um, and um, allowed my board to make the decision uh, to choose multiple sclerosis. Quite frankly, without that support, we'd be heading into another uh, indication. And uh, so the, you know, the support has led to the study taking place. It's more than just the money. Um, in New Zealand, our access to uh, neurologists who are uh, expert in multiple sclerosis, as well as being uh, um, established researchers in the area, there's very lim limited access to those sorts of um, experts. And so what Fast Forward has brought to the table is firstly access to their network, uh, and it's also given us access to clinical expertise at EMD Serono. Um, and that's going to be very important to us as we go forward in the trial. It's an unblinded trial, and so there'll be data coming out of the trial as it progresses. Uh, and quite frankly, it's quite a comfort to us to know that uh, there are clinical experts out there with a vested interest uh, to see that this trial runs as well as it can be run. Well, that's it. I mean, there are no uh, approved treatments um, in progressive MS um, that are commonly accessed by patients. So the unmet need here is, is just black and white for anybody to see. Um, so that, that makes it an exciting field to be in. Um, you know, if we could just stop progression of the disease would be a fantastic outcome. Um, if in some patients we can actually see a reversal of, of some of the symptoms, then that would really have the wow factor. Um, so drug development's exciting anyway, but when you're developing a drug for a, a market with an unmet need uh, and where the disease is, is so prolonged and disabling, um, then it makes it exciting and important. Yeah, I'd have no hesitation to say to um, researchers who have got uh, an MS candidate uh, to come and talk with Fast Forward. The difficulty for small biotech is always capital. Um, when you talk to venture capitalists about funding multiple sclerosis studies, uh, they don't want to know. Uh, the studies have got a reputation for requiring a large number of patients over a long period of time. Uh, whether that is in fact true or not, that's the paradigm. Uh, and so clearly what Fast Forward and the MS Society have done in realising that is to come up with a mechanism uh, that is going to encourage researchers to, to bring candidates forward. It's worked for us. Uh, the process uh, was, was well documented. It was very transparent. Uh, the application process followed uh, the pathway very closely. Uh, we got value out of the application process and we've certainly had value out of the clinical input that we've subsequently uh, received. And in terms of the structure of the transaction, it's a classic win-win-win structure. Uh, and it's all clearly laid out in the RFP documentation. So I don't see any downside uh, in researchers bringing candidates forward and uh, seeing if they're, um, they're going to fit the, um, uh, the needs that the collaboration's looking for.